Hey there, Steve and what's your name again? Mickey. Steve and Mickey from Bijou Juju. And uh, once again, it's been a while. Um, we have this um, this video to show you of a town uh, called Fallisburg. We sort of just fell into this thing, and I'll, I don't want to repeat what I talk about in the video, but um, it was interesting to do that. But when this happened, you'll see that there's no leaves on the trees, or very few. That's because we took this thing back in April. Wow, was it that long ago? Yeah, I was I was having a hard time walking. Uh, oh, that's right. I wound up getting an aneurysm in my left leg, and it cut off the blood flow of an artery or some dang thing. Anyway, they had to take a vein out of my right leg and put it in my left leg. And just in case you were wondering, thinking, you know, boy, that sounds like a fun thing to do on a weekend or something, you know, is have them rip a vein out of one leg and put it in the other. Forget it. It's painful. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good for about four or five weeks. It takes a while to heal from that. So anyway, we took this video and then I did all that garbage. I actually hurt my leg on the 26th of March and I got it fixed on, what was it, June 11th or something like that. Uh, it took a while to do it and uh, couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't walk more than about 50 yards and my my calf would all cramp up and it was Lovely. not a fun time. <laughs> so anyway, we found this little town, Fallisburg, and enjoy the video. This was the bridge that we came to see. We actually was able to drive through there while Mick got a little bit of a, a thing, a, a shot of inside. This is actually the third or fourth bridge built over the river here. But uh, that's it. little cemetery in Fallisburg and I happen to run into a guy who's like part of the town I don't know historical society or something and he started telling us all about it and was gonna show us some of the buildings after he's supposed to meet somebody here here's more of the cemetery not much left here but uh, and the guy that I showed you in the video we were talking to him uh, and he he was saying that um, they're gonna fix it up uh, fix up some of the grave sites and the, the stonework uh, especially like that stuff there you see the um, uh, right here it goes around you know like family plots kind of thing and he's talking to a stone guy now talking about uh, fixing it up but anyway, we just stumbled across this place. Pretty cool. This is the grave of John Wesley Fallas. He was the guy who started the village. I don't know if you can see it too well. Born in 1812, died in 1896. John Wesley Fallas and Phoebe, his wife. Born in 1815, died in 1891. This is just some shots of the town uh, as we drove through an old barn here. Um, this school will actually go in it in a little bit. It was kind of neat. Um, we took these pictures uh, before we met the guy in the graveyard. So we came back. This is what the inside of the school looks like. The old stove that kept everybody warm and um, the desks and all, it, it was pretty cool. It doubled as a church, so this was the organ that sat in the corner. 
Then we went and we saw John Wesley Follis's house, John and Phoebe, this was their house, and we got to go inside. Um, <clears throat> this was not their stove, and this was not her dress. They said most of the stuff in this house did not belong to them. Um, across the way is the ruins of the old mill. The mill is how they made their money in the town. Most everybody worked at the mill. Um, unfortunately, as time went on, uh, the railroad uh, went somewhere else, and um, the town where the railroad went uh, prospered greatly, and this town pretty much died. So anyway, that was um, the, the town. Pretty cool. Hi there, we're back. You always get a kick out of that. Why I is do. that? Just because of the way we do it. It's so cool. Well, I know, but I'm going to edit it. I cut it in half, and I put this part at the back and the other part at the front. Yeah. Nick thinks this is really funny to do that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It was an interesting place. Uh, really liked going through the schoolhouse, but more than that, I enjoyed going through the house that we went through that was um, John and Phoebe's house when they lived there in Fallisburg. I got to ring the school bell, though. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that. It has a, you can see the, the bell tower up there. I don't think you can see the bell, but but she, you know, got to ring it. And, uh, it, <laughs> it took her two or three tries. That right. It was a big bell, and one of those... Uh, getting it going for somebody who weighs uh, 97 pounds like she does. It took a few tugs on the rope to get that thing rocking yeah, enough to ring the bell. Yeah, I was wondering, didn't kids used to ring this bell? Because I don't know how they would have done it, because I kept on pulling and pulling on that ring. Yeah. Having a hard time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you whenever we see you again. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And it will make us extremely happy. Bye. Bye.